guys, welcome to the channel, and this is a apartment build of the apartment that I made for Will in my Hargrove Family LP. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I did with his apartment, and yeah, so it's, it's kind of a fun uh, modern type build. I wanted it to look very masculine um, and just kind of bachelor-esque what I would think a bachelor he's not technically a bachelor he has a girlfriend but um I think he still has that bachelor mindset so it's just um something I would think someone like him would really like he's a young professional he's wealthy and yeah so that's what I was going for with this build at first I wanted to put an office in his room, but I ended up taking that away and creating a fancy walk-in closet and putting his office stuff outside of his room in like a open area. But I used pretty much everything that I put in there at first. So here's when I decided to make a walk-in closet. I looked up a few different like walk-in closets and I wish that we could change some of the items inside of those um of those closets that came with city living but uh for how I wanted to look I I got past it I liked it quite a bit and here I was just trying out different rug options that I thought might be good for the walk-in closet. I feel like the wealthier you are, the more luxurious your closet is. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but people who, um, like I've seen on TV and shows and things like that, who are on the wealthier side of things definitely have a fancy closet. And it's to house all their designer clothes, of course. So, I wanted to have the same kind of feel for this apartment. Um, I believe his apartment is in Uptown, or maybe the Fashion District, but no, no, it's in Uptown. It's in the Alto Apartments. So yeah, my favorite part of this whole apartment is either the kitchen or the dining room. I really like the dining room. The office, um, the office space, I didn't really put a lot of thought into it because I didn't think he would. He probably just, you know, threw a desk to together and that's just where he works. So now we're doing the master bathroom. I thought it might be nice to go through the bedroom, through the closet to the bathroom so it's a little more private and yeah something different I haven't really used orange in a lot of my builds I just I don't know it's kind of like green for me I don't really use it all that much in real life either and it's not my favorite color in the world but for Will I thought maybe something bright and something don't use very often might be really good for him in the bathroom in his master bath this was something a little different I did too um, just adding little half walls and a glass um, area to enclose the, the bathtub um, just to give it a little more privacy without fully enclosing it into a room moving on to the kitchen uh, I really like using a double fridge. It just makes the fridge look larger than what it is. And I wanted the kitchen to look kind of dark, but in a modern way. A lot of guys would like something like this. Or at least guys who are like Will. <laughs> so, yeah. So I went with like a, a stainless steel and black type of thing in the kitchen. So now I'm doing the dining room area. It's kind of in between the kitchen and where the living room area is. It's very open and 
there's nothing really dividing any of the spaces so that's kind of cool except for uh the front entry and the kitchen there is a wall there and it's it's kind of cool um how i did it and i think i might use it in future builds but yeah i thought about using the pipes but this isn't really an industrial type of place so decided against it so i have these like windowed panels here and i at first wanted to put the bar in this area because it's kind of a large empty space but I just have some of the bottles there, um, and I moved the bar over, which you'll see in a bit. Will's character is actually based on someone I knew. He was my old boss in a previous job, and he's a young guy with a lot of money, and I actually went to his apartment one time, so <laughs> this apartment is loosely based off of his. That's kind of funny. And yeah, so now we're moving on to the living room. I wanted it to look kind of artsy and high-end, but still have a, a masculine vibe to it. Of course, we have to have the huge curved TV. I tried to size it up so it was even bigger, but the wall height isn't high enough or something like that. And thank God for these curtains that came with Dine Out, they work with any window, no matter the size or placement, and it just looks really nice. So those are probably my favorite curtains. Although, I really love the curtains that came with uh, City Living. And I wanted uh, this area to look like it, was, it had like a custom installation or something, so I just kind of switched um, the bookshelf on the right so that it was alternating and mirrored the other side. So this little room here is just a guest bathroom. Now I'm working on the front entryway. This was probably one of my favorite things. I haven't really used this and I thought it would look awesome like as a backdrop for a bar because it has a really cool shape and it's lit up and yeah, I, I think that would be something that his character would really like. I think this was a nice space for his work area because he has such an amazing view out into the mountains. I like these cabinets, um, but it wasn't really looking how I wanted it to look, so I just went with the regular kitchen cabinets because they looked kind of like a, a fancy desk installation. And then I thought that maybe he could have a sitting area as well in case he has clients or he's just meeting with someone. I loved putting these boxes in this space it just made it look so much more like a uh like office cabinets instead of for you know instead of the kitchen or something but yeah guys that's pretty much his apartment i hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna get into the screenshots here in a bit thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <music>